everyone, I'm Xiao Tian. Hi everyone, I'm Xavier. And we are finally done with our house renovation after four months. We are super excited to give you a house tour, so let's go! We are living in a two-bedroom condo which is 495 square feet. This entire house is designed by NZ and Dylan from Rest and Relax Interior. The theme that we are going for is modern contemporary. And some of the challenges we faced before the house renovation were limited storage space, limited living space which made the whole house super messy and cluttered. Another problem we had was we have very little natural sunlight into the house and that makes it really gloomy. As we enter our house, you will see that we have the kitchen right here. So previously, this was supposed to be a washing machine where we just clutter all our stuff here, like our laundry pots, everything, which is super messy. But right now, we replace it with a wine cellar where Xavier put all his cherished wine bottles. So as you can see, right, this is the Mayer 46 Bottles Wine Cellar. What I love about Mayer's Wine Cellar is that they have a two-layer heated glass door. They allow you to have dual zone temperature from 5 degrees up to 20 degrees and also touch button with LCD temperature display. What's the best part is that there is actually a built-in lock to ensure that actually your precious wine uh, won't get stolen or won't get lost. There is also a built-in alarm system whereby they will alert you if you open the door for too long or if that the door is not properly shut. And I really love it. In fact, most of our kitchen appliances are from Mayer. So over here, we have the digital air oven. It has 16 preset functions, so that is actually really convenient. For example, if you want to heat up your pizza, you want to heat up your french fries, you want to do your steak, yeah, you can basically do that as well. Then, we also have the microwave. It's really a must to have microwave for us because microwave is just so convenient and very fast. There are six preset menus, up to 10 power levels. And we all know that child lock safety feature is a must, even though I don't have a child. But two dogs. <laughs> and of course, over here, we have the induction and the hood, both in black. So that makes it very minimalist and very stylish for your kitchen. For those who are very afraid of fire in the kitchen, just get yourself an induction hob. It is safe to use because there's an auto pan detection. Here we have the kitchen sink mixer with pull off spout from Regal. This is in their popular gunmetal color. The reason why we chose this is because it enables us to wash every corner of the sink. And the sink is also scratch proof, so if you are clumsy like me, this sink is very suitable for you. You can even change the mode of the water by the click of a button. Next, we have our water dispenser from Wuhan. Xavier and I drink a lot of water. Previously, we were using water jug. You know those kind, right? That you have to change the water filter every month and getting a water dispenser is basically just for our own convenience. Lah. There are five different temperatures from 4 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius, 70 degrees Celsius, and 87 degrees Celsius. And I really love that they have this lock function because sometimes when you are clumsy, with just a touch of your elbow, you will just dispense the water automatically and I really hate that when it happens. Initially, we wanted to go for another model which is called the ice that you can dispense ice cubes from the water dispenser but Xavier wanted to put his coffee machine here so we gotta compromise a bit you know make some space for his coffee machine because he can't live without coffee every morning so we went for the quint which is sufficient as well because it's still convenient for us. Wow, talking about this part, uh, actually I'm very proud of myself. So all the whiskey you see inside here, right, uh, are actually all collected by me from different parts of the world. So I like to travel and collect whiskey as a memory of the place that I've been to. And if you realize by now, I actually enjoy collecting things. So this is actually a very relaxing space for me. This is like a art piece area for me where I just relax and I look at my whiskey. Because in the past, right, all my whiskey are all kept in like boxes because I have no place to display them. And I thought, since we are doing a renovation, why not make a small space for me to display some of my whiskeys? So for context, when we were designing this space, I told her she can choose everything in the house. I only have three requests. Number one, let me design the toilet which I spend the most time in. Number two, let me have my whiskey display so that I can finally display all the whiskey I've been collecting. And number three, which you will see later, is my tiny watch display. So, she displayed everything already and she chose everything. It's only fair la, that I have three requests, right? Right, no, guys, right, right. Moving on, I really want to show you guys our beautiful kitchen top and backsplash. These tiles are from Hua Kian and let me be very honest with you guys, this wasn't our first choice, okay? So the colour that we wanted actually ran out of stock and we had to wait one month and we just like, okay, no, we can't wait, okay? We had to rush this project. So the guy at Hua Kian showed us another one that is more similar. 
So in, in the end, we chose this as our backsplash and our countertop and I heard from a lot of reno people, right? Usually people do not put their countertop and their backsplash of the same colour or even they, they do not use the same tiles. But I'm very glad that how this turned out eventually and I really really love it. Just look at all the patterns, the the hua wen and stuff like that. I think it's very very nice, very very modern. At the same time, it maintains the look of our home kitchen, make it very very homely, very earthy to me. It looks a bit like abstract art. Uh. Yeah, correct. Okay, so renovation pro tip number one, if you are struggling for small space during renovation, like us, right? I feel that if you choose your countertop and your backsplash the same colour, it kind of elongates your place and makes it feel like actually this place is a lot bigger than it is. So this is a great tip because when you step in, right, you won't feel like, hey, actually, your countertop just like that or your backsplash just like that. It kind of oh, lengthens it. To match our countertop and backsplash tiles from Hua Kian, we have Arova Laminate and this one right, we chose this wooden wooden looking thingy because this is divorce texture so when you touch it right, it is not matte okay, it's divorce texture and these are antibacterial and I really really love the whole look of it and how well it matches our countertop our biggest problem in the kitchen before the renovation was the limited storage space and also can you imagine right this kind of L-shaped kitchen is actually super annoying but if you have L-shaped kitchen you need to make use of the corners okay so previously right whenever I put stuff at this corner I had to bend my back and then like reach really far and that was so uncomfortable so my idea right came out of this idea I told her specifically I said that I really need to make use of the space at that corner specifically at that corner because that was giving me a very very hard time last time this kitchen corner unit swing tray from Box Hardware helps me to save space and also help me to reach for things a lot easier whereby it is like an S shape so it kind of can carry all the weight of my plates my kitchen where and I no longer have to stretch all the way inside to the corner and I do not have to waste that space at this L-shaped corner. So you can see very very smooth, you can just slide it in nicely. As we are filming halfway, our new fridge arrived! And it's from Prism. So, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention that we haven't moved in yet. So, our fridge just literally arrived. We're actually looking for a um, fridge that is not so expensive. Lah. But at the same like time, affordable fridge. yes, affordable that fridge that is good with slick design. So, just nice, just on time, at the right time, Prism launched their new fridge. So, we were like, why not? Right. Yeah, and our aircon is from Prism. So, yeah. we trust their technology a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a local brand. I yeah. support local brands. Local. Yes. The whole installation took about 30 minutes and the reason why it took a little bit longer is because I didn't know that, right? Okay, so when the guy, right, he, he moved here, then he asked me, eh, he asked me, are you okay with the direction of the door swing? And I was like, what do you mean? So basically, there's this like bracket thingy over yeah. on top and below. So then, usual door opens this oh, way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usual door open this way. Then he asked me if I'm okay with it. Then I was thinking like, oh, we can change. Then he said, yeah, can change on the spot, like on the day of installation. So okay, yeah, I want to change it. The reason is because you see, I've got all the cupboards here, right? Then if we were to open this way, right, we cannot really open it fully. But now, after we change, we can open it fully. Show them. We can open it fully, fully. Uh. Open all the way. Yeah, it's very empty lah, cause we have no movie there. Yeah, so I really love that. It's very cool. I'm not sure uh, whether other fridge company does that, but yeah, I think that the whole installation is very fast free, and I really love Prism fridge. Our previous fridge right was pretty small. Mm. We couldn't really put our dog's food, so we actually had to have another freezer just for Zorro. But now that we have Lola, we need even bigger freezer. But you can see lah, our house is not very big. Yeah. yeah, so this is the only space that we have for a fridge and a freezer, and then and I don't really use the freezer except for ice cubes so we really want to cater this space right for our dog's food so moving on as you guys know we have two big dogs which is the main reason why we didn't want to consider marble flooring so we got our vinyl flooring from Evo Reach for those with pets out there I'm pretty sure you guys can relate you want something that is slip resistant at the same time to be 100% waterproof as well so Evo Reach vinyl flooring is actually slip resistant Permite free at the same time 100% waterproof and most importantly even if my dog were to scratch or to dig the floor it doesn't do much damage to the floor because this is high wear resistant. The other day we brought Zoro here, Zoro is our golden retriever. He actually go and do the usual dog digs really and we were quite scared like, honestly. After he dig ah, uh, the floor is still as good as new. 
Right beside our kitchen is our living room. We have this super super nice feature wall. And initially, right, we wanted to go with fluted walls because that is very trendy. But then our ID told us to go with a fluted panel instead. The color of this, right, really blends in very very well in our living room because you can see like our furnitures are all like beige, cream. With this feature wall, right, it kind of like just lift up the whole entire vibes of the living room space. I don't even know like how Renault works and stuff. I just show the idea, oh, these are the stuff that I want, these are the stuff that I like. You know, and after that, they concluded that, okay, let's go for Erdi tone. Then I was like, oh, I didn't know this is called the, you know, like the neutral colors, yeah. um, Erdi colors and stuff. Yeah, so whenever you choose, we just take pictures and send our ID and get mm. them to Piece them all together. Yeah. The color yeah. coding, like, because in your yeah. mind, you need to visualize. Uh, really yeah. damn tough for guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. correct, correct. Uh, for guys, like, yeah. that's why you're not part of the if designing. Think, ah, think that's why you're it, not uh. part of it. No, 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 don't no. Don't that's why. Oh my god, you know, last time, remember, we stuffed all our toilet rolls under the sofa. Yeah, our toilet under the sofa, then some stuff under the bed, right? Uh, yeah. Everything we put under, under, yeah, like, correct, we correct. will purposely choose furniture, right, that has legs so that we can stuff things underneath. Yes, because which yeah, because we don't, we really don't have enough storage. Space. Which is bad because your dog will start finding things under the sofa. Then apparently, putting things under your bed is not good for feng shui. One, some feng shui master true. told me. But excuse me, can you not accuse my dog? My dog is very well trained. He doesn't look for stuff underneath the sofa. I see. You know yourself. Oh, because his toy went in. Yeah, like, he he only look for things that is his. He yeah. won't go and dig out the toilet rolls okay, that we okay. stuff underneath. Right? So what I put, I put my makeup and my skincare all underneath. Eh. Yeah, I purposely I tell him uh, that time when we bought our first sofa, I was like, okay, we need um, something that has height, that has, that has legs, that I can purposely put stuff underneath. Because at first he was like, oh, don't choose a sofa with legs because- Very hard to tidy. Yeah, like you like vacuum. Dust. Then after that, some more, right, actually, right, by right lah. If you choose a furniture, a sofa, a sofa without legs, it will actually kind of like lengthen the height of your house. Actually, I was sitting very high. Very high. It's actually yeah. about three point one or 3.2 meter. Correct, that's why yeah. we can yeah, elevate it. So yeah. I think quite important to plan properly. Mm. Yeah, because initially we were thinking, wow, shit, how to create another wardrobe, another storage space. Yeah. But we realized actually the best way to create it is just to elevate the platform. Mm. Then we just put it below. Then yeah. it's our living space, right? Yeah, somehow they still hack down the uh, one yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. Right? So we yeah. hack down one room, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, later we show you the heck down. Okay, basically all our furnitures right, are from Comfort Design. Yes. And their showroom is like, wow, actually quite huge. The reason why I picked this arc so far is because the moment I stepped into their, you know, when you go to a showroom, I saw this arc so far, I was like, okay, this is mine really. I'm gonna take this because I just feel like, for me, first thing is safety for my dogs. It shouldn't have sharp edges. Actually, if you take a look around the house, right, even the carpentry are all like rounded one. Especially told my ID that you need to make it round like the edges and stuff so that my because my dog is very big and comes yeah we have two big golden retrievers yeah. and then you want to tell them about your sofa yes so this is my favorite furniture called the caterpillar sofa so story time uh, when xiao qian and the id and everyone is choosing our sofa right? we were all so busy i tell you we were all so busy this guy suddenly i cannot find him in the showroom it's because i found this sofa and i was sitting on it then i lying down and i was like Wow, this has got to be it eh. Like your whole body just sinks in ah. And then you feel very relaxed. So I thought, wow, this should be a sofa that I have in my house because it's very relaxing, allows me to think. Like morning, you just sit here, have a cup of coffee and think about how lovely life is. Had a hard time convincing Xiao Qian to get this sofa. No, because the reason is because- no space. Yeah, because this caterpillar sofa- okay. It's really quite big. Yeah, it's actually really huge. Yeah, it actually can fit two person ah. But for you to feel most comfortable, I think it's best yep. to be one person. Initially, I keep telling him, oh my god, we need to prioritize, we need to prioritize, you know? Like, if we were to get this one, then what are we gonna sacrifice? Correct, correct. Because, because our space. space very limited. Then I tell this guy, you want coffee table, then you also want this caterpillar, but then I die, die, I also want my art sofa. Then like, how? Like that, uh, how? Then we fight. No la. Then after that, the comfort people come down and measure for us. Yes, they measure. Yeah. They really come down and measure like, yeah. length by length, your, your leaf can fit how, yes, yes. how big. Your the house door, can the be door. How, big, yeah, how yeah. much space in between each furniture? Because mm. the layout is like that, they give you how many cm by how many cm. Mm. But you need to come down to measure the actual livable space. One. Usually, Different one, 
Yeah. I would say usually, right, you need to measure yourself one. But yeah. then I think because when we were like having this small discussion and then the salesperson heard, the salesperson was like, okay, how about we send our guys down to go and measure for you and tell you whether you can or cannot. And it's like, okay, that would be great. Yeah. Yes. I never knew furniture shop can do this kind yeah. of thing. Right? They are really very nice. Yeah, 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 and yeah. help us choose the best sofa. Like, this yeah. is really my favorite spot. So happy one of my favorite spots. Happy, right? Yeah, I love it. Eh. Now you got this one and then I got this one. Yeah, in case we fight, I can sleep here, man. right? Ah, you better. I better see you sleep here. <laughs> yeah, we had a heated conversation uh, with our ID and, and comfort design. <laughs> Actually, our ID keeps saying no one uh, because the ID is saying really no space. space. We had to change the orientation of the dining table. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We had dining to table orientation right, right. changed. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be like this, it was supposed to be another way. A lot of this house right, is designed and chosen by Satian, but I told her I needed like more Balinese vibe to feel more relaxed. Yeah. Like, home supposed to feel relaxing. Right? So, we yeah. have this plant here and a large plant there, right? All from comfort design to create this space that hey, actually is very outdoor, relaxing. Earth, not earthy. Earthy, no. earthy. Greenery, yeah. la, I think. And if you guys see this, this is our home speaker. This is the JBL Authentics. We have one in the living room, one in the bedroom. So, this is actually very, very slick. Okay, it also can be a centerpiece of the house, but I put it at a corner because the volume really quite strong, like the bass. Mm. And this is is also smart home enabled. Means yeah. you step in the house, right? The music start playing, right? Or if yeah. you leave the house, you want your dog not to feel so lonely, you can play music also. Mm. Everything controlled on the app. Yes. Love. So you guys see what is this? This is carpet! So actually, it's Xiao Qian's dream, right? To have the whole house carpeted. Yeah. Actually, I'm very curious. Like, why would anyone want that? No, it's very soft, why? It's in like, you know, when you step in, the house, then everything is very soft instead of like hot floor. Like right? hotel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You might think that I'm ridiculous, right? But comment below if you think she's ridiculous. No, I think she's ridiculous. No, but there are actually more purposes to carpet flooring. Under this carpet, right, is actually hidden storage. It's a tatami hidden storage. So there's more purpose to it because the carpet is here to conceal the hidden storage nicely. Initially, I didn't want to go with vinyl. I was like, no, 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 no. Carpet, please. <laughs> the more carpets, the better it is. I think that at least in our living dining area, I right, should have carpets. And then, see, got more purpose, all right? Can conceal our hidden storage, okay? Our hidden storage in the tatami. So we can hear actually it's hollow one. So the hidden storage right is from the dining area all the way to the living area. They are the, all hidden storage. The entire elevator platform. Uh. Yeah. So previously our spare room was to store Xavier's clothes and Zoro's stuff. It's and believe me or not, Zoro actually has more stuff than Xavier. It's true. <laughs> so where did Zoro's stuff went? Where did it all go? It's all in the drawer below the tatami. All of the drawers, right? Are all filled up with his stuff. And we haven't even fully moved in yet. But yeah, so that's where all Zoro's stuff go. And you cannot tell, right? Because actually we installed mirror panel on this entire drawer stretch. Mm. The idea the idea of the mirror, right, is to make this walkway a little bit wider. Beside our living area is our dining area. In, in the centerpiece of this dining area is our dining table from Gray and Sanders. So this is actually one of my favorite table in the it's house. It's his dream, it's his dream. There's only one option in this place. <laughs> it's Gray and Sanders. Okay, let me tell you guys why, okay? Because there are multiple features to this table, okay? Mm. So from the side profile of the table, right, you actually see the live edges of this entire table. Which means, right, this is actually from one entire wood and and then they leave the live edges at the side to create this impression that it actually feels a bit like nature. So I, I like this nature Bali feeling. Right? It's yeah. one piece of wood. So we specifically chose this acrylic leg, okay? So to create this floating effect, to create more um, depth like, in the space. And for the table, right, it is half folded, okay? So it's actually a very long wood, right? Then we folded it to half. One side of it is acrylic table, one side of it is wood. Yeah. Okay, and the reason for this is because there is something special. Why is so special? Well, something special is the waterfall of fortune over here. Waterfall of fortune! So this is actually a live gap, okay? So that means, right, the wood is not perfect wood, ma. So there's a gap in the wood, one. So what they do, right, is they use yeah. epoxy resin to fill this gap. So we folded this, right, to create this waterfall look. And hearsay, hearsay what? Hearsay, you tell me what? Hearsay, hearsay, okay? If you put a $100 note here, uh, hearsay, your wealth will keep growing more and more. Then you must put $1 coin yeah. here. Yeah, so the Thai yeah. Yuan Kun Kun. Yeah, it's a feng shui thing lah. Ayah, never mind if you all don't understand. But basically, if you don't know, you don't know. Yeah, if you don't know, you don't know. But it's like si shui chang. Yeah, but if you come to my house, just remember put your $100 here. Yeah, put your $100 deposit here. And then after that, $1 coin will yeah. put. This one, $1 coin will put for you. $100 will put there, okay? Then after that, the water, then after that, over here, we'll have more and more $100. So you, when you come to my house, you must put 
hundred dollar. Okay, hundred dollar only. Okay, you don't give me fifty dollar. Hundred dollar only. Two hundred dollar also can. It is really very natural. You get to choose the kind of different wood uh, from them. Oh my god, their showroom is crazy. Oh. You was choose until you sell one. Cause like too many wood already. So what we did right was when we went down there. We, we straight away show our colour palette already because mm. we already remember we told you guys colour palette is very important you, if you have your colour palette already right you can straight away narrow down what, what are the colours or the wood that's suitable for your house correct, so correct, it will correct. make the whole process a lot easier I think we went down to the showroom like three times <laughs> three yeah, times because, to make sure we get the right wood yeah to make sure we get the right wood and then of course uh, Great and Sanders they are already very known for mm. their service very established yeah their service is very very good they will actually keep you updated on the progress yeah, take pictures also yeah. so just now you were telling them that Initially, right, the position of this this table wasn't supposed to be like this. Yeah, supposed to be horizontal one. Yeah, it was supposed to be the other way around. Initially, we didn't even want to have the bench. Yeah. Really very scared of no space. Correct, but correct. isn't it very awkward if you host your friends, right? Then all sit on one side. <laughs> it's like, uh, damn awkward, you know? Yeah. Then they all talk like this. Like this. Yeah. yeah, very awkward. Right? Very, very suitable to have the bench which we use um, the leftover from this table yeah, from and wood. after that, when you don't want to use the bench or when nobody is here, you got no guests over, just push it in. Uh. They specifically yeah. designed for it to be flushed in yeah. perfectly. Man. I really love the choice of the acrylic legs. We didn't even know we can do that. Yeah. I think we went to the I think we went there and they showed it, hey, what legs you want? Yes, can choose some. Yeah, exactly. It's like easily just go yeah, It's fully yeah. customizable. A lot of the yeah. things in our house is customizable because we like a unique kind of story and character to it. I think in renovating a house, right, it's gonna be somewhere you're gonna stay at least for the next three years. Yes. Right. So it has to be something that reflects your character and also what you like. Also. So what is your character? Money minded. My character is artistic. <laughs> really yeah. meh? Yeah. First thing you talk about is the freaking waterfall. No, right? this one is for our guests to know because a lot of people ask us when housewarming. Uh, then they, they want to put $100 note okay, here. Right? So those of you watching the video at housewarming, if you are invited into this, please remember to bring your $100 note <laughs> for you to hot hot. Yeah, for you to hot hot. You can see right what Xiao Qie is sitting oh, on, yes. right? So this one right is actually a settee, a dining settee that you will probably see in restaurants. Initially, I wanted it to be an L corner settee and then because now that the direction of the table changed, there is more storage. Yeah. The whole yeah. row of yeah. settee seating is actually storage. Even more storage. And then I think our ID is actually very thoughtful. We didn't request for the cold plant. Mm. They actually put a cold plant thing without telling us. Xavier was saying that if let's say me and him fight, right? Then, then this whole space outside, right? Is his space ready, ma? He this one is his work desk. Then after he can sleep here. So at the same time he can lie on his caterpillar. Then I will be hiding in the room. Okay, then my room also. Okay, later I show you my room. My room very nice one. My room, my room. Your room, your room. But anyway, these blinds, right? It's called the Ah uh, Ventition blinds. Ventition? A few moments later. So this is the Venetian window blind from secret furnishing. What I love about this uh, is that actually it blocks out the light uh, 100%. You can choose the kind of light you want to diffuse in mm. depending on your mood. Uh, okay? Mm. And also right, they have this very nice wood colour that actually blends in our house. Mm. So you will realise that our feature wall and our blinds is very similar colour, even our table as well. So remember, colour palette. Uh, color correct, palette. correct, correct. So basically, secret furnishing, right? you can customise everything from the colours, the wood, the tape, and then whether or not you want it to be motorised. We chose this to be manual because we just think that it's a lot easier. I feel like most likely this blind right, is always going to be yeah. up or halfway. Everything about blinds are fine and pairing. Mm. We do our homework for you already. They really can choose a lot of stuff. <laughs> so when Xiao Jian throws me out of the room, this will be my work desk. Okay, so, I'm so happy. So actually initially this area got no socket one. The electric point is all over at the living side. That's why we actually have lined it whereby they have the movable sockets for you to plug as many as you want and in whichever area of the house yeah. you want. So very, very convenient. You need, you put in, you plug. If yeah. you don't need, you just take out. Line it also, you can choose the colour to blend in your house. We chose the chrome colour to okay. blend in with yeah. our walls and my furnishing. I realised that our house ambiance, right, it's kind of like a hotel vibes, you know. It's not like those bright white light, like as, as if you're in... I don't know, where, where else got bright lights? Right, right. Shopping centre. Okay, basically the whole lighting, right, is very, very important. It determines what kind of vibes you want to go for, you know. It determines the ambience of the house. Like for us, right, we want it to be very relaxing, also very luxurious. So our lights, right, is all from Soul Luminaire and they are paired with kinetic switches from... Futura House, which mm. is our smart home partner. Mm, 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 smart home partner. And you'll be wondering, where are all our switches? Where are all our switches? Where? 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 
It's right here! So you will see that right, all the kinetic switches right, they are all lime wash, blending with our lime wash painting. For all the paint in our house right, we use Vasari lime wash okay, because it is anti mold non-toxic and antibacterial, okay? So this lime wash, right, actually, Xiao Tian chose it because when our dogs, right, actually get on their paw prints on the wall, right, you won't see the pet stain on because it's already lime wash. It's lime wash. It's supposed to look like it's a little bit like here and there. It's not supposed to be perfect white. So lime wash is a very, very good idea. And you realise that our kinetic switches, right, is also lime washed. So our kinetic switches, you can customise the colour. And the default colour is white colour. And then we're going to show you guys the one that we have in our bedroom later on that is in another colour. Before moving into the bedroom, I want to show you guys our piece of fluted glass which the purpose is to bring in more sunlight because let, just now I show you guys right, we only have a very very small piece of window and I don't think that that is sufficient for the whole dining and living room and that's the purpose of us having the full length mirror just to reflect the light into the rest of the house. Our door right, is from 8 doors and the reason why we chose 8 doors right, is that it looks very sleek and flush in. so it looks very modern right? you get to customise the height as well as the design from it. They're actually very known for their frameless door which is a combination of functionality and design Okay, and you realise actually this is a similar colour to our lime wash wall so everything is very flushed in and they also come with a 2 year warranty so quite good lah. So there is also a hidden key for you to lock this door right, in the event you have a lot of gas over. Fun fact ah, Xiao Qian tell me this one is actually quite soundproof. Very business, soundproof. Very soundproof because when I'm doing my business inside a toilet, she cannot hear anything. No, when I'm trying to talk to you, I don't know whether you are trying to act them or And she what. also cannot hear anything. <laughs> Ready to enter another dimension of the house? Let's go! Shoo! Ta-da! Wow, guys, I finally have my own wardrobe space. You don't need to compete with her for wardrobe. Chakaman, chakaman. Wait, 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 Chakaman. wait. I gave you your own wardrobe even last time. I even have you fix the ceiling wardrobe, okay? It's just that you got too, too, too many clothes. Guys, last time my wardrobe is shared with Zoro. Mm. Hey, no, no, no. Chakaman, 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 chakaman. Zoro has his own boxes, okay? You have your own wardrobe and a ceiling wardrobe. What are you talking about? Okay, i let you talk about your wardrobe first. <laughs> Yeah, but basically we have a his and hers already lah, huh? Then he wear you ready lah. So this is my wardrobe. Ta-da! It's not fully utilised yet. But you can see because our ceiling is very, very high. So I really love this mechanism from Box Hardware. You can basically bring this thing down to make full use of the high ceiling. I no longer need to step on my stool. Just she bought a ladder. <laughs> Literally a ladder. It's actually a ladder for house lah. Because uh, last time, uh, we didn't have enough wardrobe space. We had to buy like a ceiling wardrobe. You know those kind like thick like that one. But now we have this mechanism that can put my long Long dresses, you see, you see, you see? My long dresses, all these, right? These are all like the short ones, lah. We have um, things for you to put. Oh, another one, another one. This one, the pull out one. This one, right, can slot your pants, your jeans, especially, you know, like your long pants, right? Take out a lot of space when you fold them. So I think this is actually a very smart idea. And then can hang my handbags and my caps as well. There's also this mirror which I didn't even, I totally forgot about it but my ID remember. So my ID put this in. So this mirror is just like for me, after I change my clothes then I can check myself out you know like oh yeah good fit today you know. Then I'm very ready to go. So basically this is my, my wardrobe. By the way right guys, whenever you design your wardrobe right, you must already know what kind of clothes you have or what kind of clothes you want to put in your wardrobe. In fact you specifically like design them, tell your ID what you want because most of the time the ID will give you the very very basic kind of wardrobe design. They will just ask you things like, what is your longest dress? Like, what is the length of your maxi dress or something like that? You know, like for example, right, maxi dress like this kind, right? They will ask you what's the length. Then they will create one storage, right? Like they will cut half. Then that one, right, is for your long dresses and then the other half is for your clothes. But then, I think this whole mechanism thing, right, makes more sense. Yeah. It looks very light, oh. Yeah. Okay, oh. Yeah, it's actually very easy to bring down. Just bring it down like this. Then you don't no longer need to use ladder already. Okay, now Xavier will show you his masterpiece. Before I show you the masterpiece, maybe I can share with you guys how this wardrobe came about. So this wardrobe uh, was actually conceptualized by Xiao Tian with our two ID Anzi and Dylan. So what they do is they actually draw out. Uh, like oh, what I, they need to put I inside. Draw out, I draw yeah, out, I draw out. I draw out, like I draw, sketch out. Uh. Yeah, I sketch out from my iPad. Okay, yeah. Even from my side, she helped me draw out. Like, okay, this is what you put here, okay? This is what you put here. Yeah. Actually, that one is not your masterpiece, it's my masterpiece. Yeah, she do one. <laughs> okay, but I have a small space dedicated. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is my wardrobe. Okay, so this is where I hang my outer jackets, my long shirts, okay? 
And here is where I now having my shorter one. So as you can see, I have very little clothes. Yeah, the right. highlight of this, right, is actually the cove lighting that help you choose your clothes easier. La. No, very hard to find clothes as well. Chen side also have. And our ID specifically designed this see-through glass, right? for me and Xiao Qian to display some of our timepieces and jewelries. Okay, so now it's long one. Right? Like if you're a thief, you come in right, you want to steal stuff right, cannot. Because you don't have my fingerprint. So this if you want to steal Xavier's stuff, you need to chop down his thumb. Never you can steal already. Okay, then the rest is all just different compartments. Hey, don't open that one. That one is my, my stuff. The stash. Hey, huh? hey, in a minute, I thought this is my wardrobe. And then over here is my vanity and work desk, which will be the area that I spend most of my time at. If you look back at all my TikTok videos, my Instagram videos, right, they were all filmed by the window. And that was a really ugly background. So right here, right, actually I have a... Just behind the camera, there's actually a backdrop specifically designed for me to work here and film here and then there's a neater and nicer background la. For vanity area right, it's very very important to have good lighting. That's why my ID actually created this cove lighting that can give that light. So last time right, my work desk, my dining area and my makeup area is all at the same table which is very pathetic. Specifically told my ID must have storage, must must have storage okay. I don't want my stuff to be laying all over the table again like last time. Last time really very pathetic I tell you guys. I think if you came to my house before, you would have known that when I eat, right, I have to move all my makeup stuff and my camera stuff, right, all like push to the side and my laptop. Then my table is only that big, ma. So it was really very pathetic. And then over here, ha, is my heaven, my stash. These are all my stash. So all these drawers, initially my ID didn't have drawers here. She actually wanted me to make use of the chair that I have to like switch it over, like roll it over and then I can put my legs in. But then I told her no, I think storage is more important for me. So I told her to build drawers for me. I can put my, all my makeup stuff. Yeah, basically these are all my makeup stuff lah, yeah. And then my work desk area, I told my ID right, I want to put like documents and like paper documents or maybe like laptops and stuff. So I don't have to lay everything on the table. But it's very ugly, it's really very unsightly and also it's gonna make your house look very messy. So I told her I need to have the drawer for my work desk. But I have a problem because I told her that I have a secret lab chair and it's a must for me to use secret lab chair. And secret lab chair, right, usually people use it for gaming. I use it for work because it's very, very comfortable. But the problem is, right, the armrest how to bring down the height of the chair, that's the maximum I can go, right, in terms of the height of the chair. But she really built this for me, really. Then I told her, oh shit, I forgot to measure my secret lab chair and let you know the height of the Chair. So I cannot push the secret lab chair in ma. Then it's gonna be very awkward because the secret lab chair has an armrest. But then, good thing is, secret lab right? You see, I got no more armrest already because you can remove it. Yeah, so now I can fully like sit in without the, um, the armrest blocking me. Because I just feel that it's a bit redundant to have the armrest for me when I'm already doing work here and I can put my arms on the table already. That's why I decided to remove it. But yeah, it's up to you. Just know that it's customized work. As for our laminate, you will realise that they are all pretty similar in terms of the colours and they are all from Arova Laminates. Arova Laminates, right, is one of the best in Singapore because it is fingerprint proof. It's very important for me. I'm very, very OCD, unlike Xavier. He can stand all the little, little like dots and like stuff on the table but cannot because for me, I really want my room and my whole house, right, is already super like light colours. You know when I show first show my parents uh, our house, right, my mom was like, oh my god, you're gonna regret it. Everything is almost like white in colour or off-white or cream colour or beige colour. But I told her that the colours are what I really love. Oh yes, guys, this is the JBL speaker that Xavier was talking about portable one and it's also with Google Assistant and this one we put in the bedroom for us to like chill and relax. This was the curtain that we were talking about. In terms of the colour, I really think that we made a very very good choice because it's very earthy, it's very neutral and you can see the texture as well. So, but initially right, I wanted it to be 100% blackout. Then the guy at Silicon Furnishing told me that if I want 100% blackout right, it's either I choose black dark grey but I just don't think that it will blend well for my bedroom so I still go with this colour at least it's 80% blackout so that's not too bad and then I want to show you guys my day curtain my day curtain oh, really got texture one guys it's not the plain white the boring kind it's the shiny shiny kind one 
So just now I was telling you guys that my kinetic switches outside right is lime washed and this one is the one in the bedroom. So in the bedroom right you'll realize that in terms of the colors they are more of a neutral. This is in gun metal. This is the kinetic switches that you can move around like for example I put one of these at my work desk and then I can control it whenever I'm working here. So I don't have to like walk to the wall and then go and find the switches. So there's one here and then there's another one just by our bed. Y'all will see that I'm squatting on this platform. It's another tatami with rounded platform. And there are even more storage just right here. But anyway, y'all will see another carpeted area. And then this is actually our bed. Ta -da. Over here, we have this wavy, flowy, curvy design which resembles cloud because they will say he want to sleep on cloud and then he can sleep well, dream well, sweet dreams, whatever, good night, okay? I actually initially saw this on Pinterest but I did not expect my ID to further design it even better with this art wall, okay? This art wall is extremely difficult to piece them up because it requires really high workmanship, very skillful worker to do that perfect art that is very smooth. I'm very surprised by this because I really didn't expect that. I didn't tell her about that. I just told her I wanted this like thingy that looks like cloud. I didn't expect her to do this but she did it anyway and we were very very happy with it. There's additional platform right here to place Xavier's Lumos projector. So this was designed right, such that we can watch movie in the comfort of our Wusa mm. bed and then we have a projector that comes down okay so we can watch shows, watch movie here so this is our couple time mm. yeah like a home theatre kind of feeling that's why we have a special platform to house our Lumos projector which is actually very clear. You can watch Netflix, you can sign in your YouTube, you can airplay with your laptop. There's this concealed projector for us to put our projector so that it doesn't look very bulky and it's not like hanging from the ceiling. It's very ugly lah. It's motorized one. Mm, motorized. So we found a few vendors then we finally found one but quite mm. pricey lah. This one very for. pricey. Actually right, this one is one of the things that we regret. Because right, I think that we should put more money into the projector mm. than our screen. Yeah. I think projector more important but luckily Numos is I, I would feel I would say that it's more beginner friendly. Mm. Yeah, I would say it's more beginner friendly. For the price point, the quality really very good. Yeah, the quality is good. But I think the screen is a bit overpriced lah. But then like we really have no time to really go and source for it. So we just like, okay lah, let's just go for this yeah. screen. I don't understand why is it so expensive. It's probably more expensive than the projector. Yeah. So right, in the concealed ceiling, we also have like our switcher sockets there so that we can put our CCTV here. Why do we have a CCTV here? Watch you ah. No, 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 no. The CCTV right is to watch our dogs yeah, watch when our we are dogs. not at home. Hey, don't try to stir shit ah, okay? That area over there right, the vanity and the work desk right, is my area. This is Xavier's area already. I requested bedroom. for Wusa when we were planning for the bed. He died, died I also say want to have Wusa. I said die, die also want Wusa. No, the other bed, only Wusa. Must be Wusa. Because Why? Wusa can be elevated. Uh, and they also have this very special pillow ah, you see? This is called the couple sharing pillow. Actually, I don't know if it is. Uh. No, I, I think just it's just it. called a long pillow. It's called a long pillow, but it's actually called a couple sharing pillow because every night she will either steal my pillow or put my pillow away. Excuse me, I don't do that. It's you, okay? Yeah, so now we have a very long pillow that stretches across the whole bed uh, that we will just share together. <laughs> we don't have to fight. Yeah, then when you sleep together with your partner, right, then there's this gap one. It's very uh, awkward gap. This awkward gap. Yeah, that you will fall inside one. This proves that, right, whenever I'm sleeping on my side, right, Xavier likes to squeeze over to my side. That's why he will fall into the awkward gap. I remember when we went to the USA showroom. showroom, right? Yeah, we were looking at the bed. We were just looking at the mattresses. Then this guy went to lie on one of the mattresses. He, so he lie on this long pillow. And then he's like, I think oh, we need to add on this pillow. Yeah. He said, no, no, no. We really need to add on to, to this pillow. But for me, right, on the more practical side is very difficult to find pillow cases for this kind of long pillow. But we will definitely find one. The texture itself is already very nice lah. When we went to the USA showroom, which I also think is a sleep room because they encourage you to go there and take a nap one. Yeah, they really encourage you yeah, to go so there Yeah, so you're just gonna try nap. different bed to see which one suits us. Mm. Because I think she's a side sleeper, I'm a back sleeper. Mm. And we chose this such that it fits both of us lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This specific mattress, right, is for both side and back sleepers, which is very important for a couple, especially if you all sleep differently. But the best part about the Wusa bed, right, actually, I was saying halfway, y'all, is actually this unique feature. TV mode where it's up, right, and then you can watch your mm. movie at home. Okay, elevated, so you don't need to like, put like 10 pillow behind you, then yeah. you sit up, right? Then that's when you realise they have this anti-snore feature. I tell you guys, this bed will vibrate one, eh. This bed really will vibrate one. Can massage one, one. Uh. Yeah, like... Oh yeah, guys, y'all can download the app 
can download the app, then you can customize even more, more things and you can control with your phone. I really love this. This is a very, very good purchase if you are thinking of getting a bit. Honestly, like beds, right, mattresses, is something that I would say is a very long-term investment. Yep. You wouldn't be changing your mattress every year, ma, right? So you need to find something that is good, practical for you, and you would know that when you lie down on it, right, you will feel really, really good after a long day of work. Initially, we wanted this tatami platform, right, to have even more hidden storage, right? But because this guy, Dai Dai, also want to have the elevated function, that's why we have this mechanism below this mattress, then we can no longer have more storage with it. That's why you need to discuss and prioritize what you want. But to us, I think that the elevated function is very useful, like, it's something that we will use it every day. Because we haven't moved in yet, but then we already tested the bed already. Xavier kept on telling me, can we move back already? Can we move back already? Can we move back already? Yeah, because he really just want to sleep in a very, very nice mattress. Are you ready not to see my favorite spot? This whole toilet uh, is conceptualized by me but design and everything, all the usability all done by uh, Anzi and Dida and Xiao Qian. Uh. Yeah. Okay. It's so, like he just tell me what he want. Then after I go Pinterest, fine. Then I ask him, is this what you want? Then he say, yes, yes. Then after we just like piece everything together. All the deep thinking, all the inspiration, all <laughs> comes when you are doing your toilet business. From showering to like on the toilet bowl. No wonder okay. they came out as rubbish. <laughs> what do you mean? So this toilet is another dimension because the whole house is modern content but this toilet is... Balenes! Welcome to Bali. <laughs> this is a very tropical vibe because once you step in right, the tiling is from another kind of vibe already. Mm. Okay, from stone, stone. stone kind of tiling. And then when you look up, uh, this is a skylight. When I tell people this is a skylight, they really believe it's a skylight. They thought we were living at the last like, floor. Yeah, like a penthouse yeah. floor where you see the stars and the, the sun. Like it's from PC Hack. Yeah. It's from very PC nicely diffused in. And then you get to change the different mode. I always have this idea right, that in Bali when I shower, right, mm. it's like open shower, mm. open concept. But the ceiling is open. Right? So I want to create the same thing where I have a skylight and then I shower like the open right? Yeah, mm. Very relaxing. You see the color change. So this one is called dawn. Dawn light. This is called dawn light. Oh, yeah. Then it kind of just set another kind of ambiance for the toilet already. If you step in right, you can see actually the toilet not very big. Mm. But a lot of things is happening in this small toilet. You should tell them the challenges. Correct. Let me tell you guys the challenge. Where they wash their clothes? Do they not wash clothes? Actually our washing machine is very nicely housed in our toilet. You can see it's almost hidden. So this is our washing machine above the toilet bowl. Previously, our washing machine was actually at where uh, Xavier kitchen, placed. Kitchen. Yeah, it's actually in the kitchen where Xavier placed his wine cellar. But then we were like, huh, not nice, you know, the washing machine outside for everybody to see. Then someone take up so much space. So Anzi and Dylan was like, oh, actually, guys, we can just elevate it. And then you can, we just need to measure and then customize the carpentry so that the washing machine can place nicely. Xavier is going to be the only one spending most of his time in the toilet where he do all his like, don't know, reflections. And Ideation and yeah, inspirations. Sit down and then think, think, think. Ah. Okay, processing, you see, processing. Yeah, thinking hard, thinking hard. So I thought actually the space only to be so big, lah, huh? just for him to think can really. Then after I'll be inside showering. This toilet bowl is from Rigo. It is a heated toilet bowl from Rigo. Okay, why I chose this toilet bowl is because of one very, very important reason. It's called the Whirlpool Tornado Flush from Regal. Okay, so when you go to Regal showroom, wow, too many toilet bowl to choose. Right? First time I choose toilet bowl, I feel like wow, so many different yeah. choices. Why is it so difficult? Yeah, but we chose one with heated seat. Okay, this is heated seat, right? Mm. So when you sit down to do your business, you feel like wow, you're you enjoying like your you're business. You feel like you're in Japan, you you're see? The this one you usually only see in Japan one. When we saw this, it's like, oh! This one we need, we need, we need. It's like heated toilet bowl and then you still got the bidet, then you still got the air drying and then you still can set the temperature. This one, he also like obsess over Everything it. Everything is inside. If you pan over, this is the vanity mirror all the way up to the ceiling, mm. okay? Where there's a lot of storage compartment. Don't show you all because too messy already, okay? So a lot of storage compartment to keep all Xiao Qian's makeup and, and, and skincare. La. If you move over here, this is the metallic finish chrome. Gun so, metal. Gun metal, okay? Very, very slick. Like, it just blends in. Okay, actually the bowl shape sink, uh, as well as the toilet bowl, right? Supposed to be black colour one. Supposed by me. But then when we went to choose at Regal, uh, wow. He told them that he wanted a black toilet bowl and a black basin. He died, I also want them. After that, we have this. We didn't fight, we didn't argue. It's just that I need to reason out for him, you know. But then he just don't agree with my reasonings. Because I told him that I got people use black colour sink and black colour toilet bowl. But then I blame myself because the Pinterest inspiration I found for him is black colour toilet bowl and black colour sink. Then he think that it's possible. But to me, it's 
very dirty because he's not the one washing the toilet. He's not the one washing anything at home, right? I wash clothes uh, sometimes. But then, it's just the toilet, right? If you were to make it black colour, you make the toilet bowl black, you make the sink black, it's gonna be very dirty because you wouldn't know when it's mouldy. You wouldn't know that it's time for you to wash. Hello, you need the reminder, okay? I find it damn disgusting and can you imagine, right? If you make everything black, right? Then your toothpaste, huh? especially this guy, when he's in the morning, he's not very, very careful, okay? He's gonna like spill, like you're gonna like squeeze the toothpaste and it's gonna go there and there. I think it's gonna stain everywhere, right? It's gonna make it even more obvious in terms of the toothpaste. When we were at Regal, he asked the person, excuse me, do you have black colour uh, sink? Excuse me, do we have black colour toilet bowl? The person looked at him and like Brother, ugh. She actually gave a disgusted face, okay? Just that you weren't looking Then when she faster changed her face, she's like Oh no, unfortunately we don't have Then she gave the same reasoning as me Guys, speak your battles yeah. So now it's fire So I gave him the laminate to be as dark as possible But then the tabletop to be not too white and not too black. So this one is from Hua Kian, same as our kitchen, okay? Hua Kian got too many designs already. So luckily, we were able to find it at Hua Kian. If not, this guy is gonna like... Uh, again. And this is the shower area, okay? So if you look at the shower area, first thing that comes up to you uh, is this stone wall. Like if you touch, right? It's not laminate, it's not wallpaper. It's really stone. Eh? It's like the whole slab. It comes by like tile by tile. Eh? Our ID actually found this, right? And then help us piece together to make it look as outdoor as possible. So when this rain shower from Regal is open, right? This gun metal rain shower, it creates this outdoor feel that wow, actually got stone, wooden floor, and outdoor shower with my skylight. And everything is very nicely pieced together eh? to create this visual outdoor balladly shower. Okay, so I'm very very thankful to our ID that actually made this come to life. Fun fact, Xiao Qian say uh, this one can scrub back. So next time I have her scrub her back on this one and try, okay? Hey. So this is our shower setup by Regal where you have the rain shower, the hand held one, as well as this spout that comes out, okay? So all these buttons here look very complicated, but it's not. This allows me to choose where I want the water to come out from and also to preset the temperature. So that you come in, right? You don't even jump in the water when it's too cool. You come in straight away, the temperature is just nice, right? So what was the overall vision you had before we start our renovation? Wow, so right, this is actually my first renovation. So I never do renovation before, but Xiao Tian already told me right, that Reno a lot of sove, a lot of problem, <laughs> all the mock-up right, you see ah, and the real one is different because from her past two renovation experience, it was quite bad. It's very yeah, so bad, I, I tell you guys. To me right, whenever I hear the word renovation, I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to go through this again. For a lot of Reno, right, the ID are not very responsible. Mm. Yeah, that like you reach out to them, they like MIA or like tell you can can can, but in the end you come out and see like, eh, how come cannot? <laughs> looks different. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct, correct. But throughout this whole experience, I, I actually came in with an open mind. Like, I was thinking like, eh, actually no expectation. Yeah. Maybe quite okay. But this experience really changed my impression of mm -hmm. the whole renovation and ID business. Our renovation is done by R&R. &R. Mm. Okay, so the two IDs we had were Anzi and Dylan. And they really went above and beyond. Yeah. Like our 3D mocha, right? Mm. And our actual um, house, right? Looks the same. Our actual house even looks better. Eh. Yeah, exactly. I was like, wow, how can yeah. it be? Yeah. Initially, when we first received the 3D rendering, right, we were like, wow, so nice, amazing, you know, like, yeah, okay, yeah. we, we know, uh, we know, confirm, like, the 3D gonna be super amazing one because they need you to approve them, fact they can move on, man, and start the renovation. But then we really, really didn't expect that the actual piece is gonna look even better. The rest who are doing renovation, right, please, please, uh, don't expect a lot of things because it's gonna make you very disappointed. But I will say that we are very lucky uh, to have NC and Dylan with us. There was once, I think they left a very deep impression that me and Xiao Qian has, has a very hectic schedule one. Yeah. Like we can work until 12am we are quite yeah. alcoholic. So one of the meetings we had with Anzi and Dylan was like 11pm mm. kind one after their working hours. Yeah, they yeah. haven't even had their dinner, you know. And we also haven't had our dinner. Yeah. So we went down to their office, then we just talked through the night to then go through I'm all the stuff. I'm just very confused because I was like thinking like, wow, do y'all get like bonuses for like OTing? Then after they said no, then I found out that one of our ID, uh, Dylan lah, he doesn't even stay in Singapore, so it's like very poor thing, you know, not? Yeah, we kind of travel like, back. Uh. Yeah, because we were so busy and then we already forgot that we have a house renovation going on. It was very funny because we kind of like just put it at the back of our mind. And then Dylan and Anzi, right, they are like the homeowners themselves, yeah, right? They just, us on. Yeah, they just settled everything for us, really. I think what stood out was their responsibility. Yeah, like they took ownership such mm. that like this house feels like their house when they yeah, are doing everything. Exactly. Like really very patient and mm. very uh, deliberate to help us 
make this very proactive. Very 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 proactive. So our whole house, right? I would say that we are super super satisfied. But which part, right, is your favorite? Wow, a lot, eh? Only can choose one, ah. Honestly, when I'm asking you this question, I haven't even thought of mine. Every side is different, right? It's not like template you take then you put here. Mm, mm, it's like even the bed, oh, it's like everything to the details is very what we visualize. Though. Yeah, yeah. I will say it has to be the toilet. This has got to be the nicest toilet I have seen. I feel like in my perspective. His obsession yeah, over toilets. Wow, wow. From the toilet bowl to the shower to the skylight to the stone wall to the tiles. Everything is just what I am. I vision it to be. I think Comment if you want to know what Xavier is doing inside the toilet. I don't know why he spent the most time there. He should be with me like spending time with me but he's always spending time in the toilet. For my favourite part, I really love the feature wall that we have with Chroma. But I also love this whole design in the bedroom. But I would say that I will spend more time in the bed because now we have a projector! So I would say this will be my favourite place. Yeah. yeah, the bedroom itself is my favourite place. It's where I can work, I can do my skincare, I can do my makeup, I can film and then I can still relax. Yeah, so I think Bedroom would be my favourite lah. Yep. And I will say that every reno, right, definitely will have hiccups, definitely will have challenges. One of our challenges, right, I will say that we are always not in Singapore. During the whole renovation process, we were always not in Singapore. Yeah, and our renovation actually stretched across various holidays and festivals. Mm, 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 from Christmas to Chinese New Year to New Year's Eve and everything. So mm. actually, because of all these, uh, actually there are some delays from the supplier. Mm. Yeah, and because we are always not in Singapore, it's very hard for us to decide on things. Yeah. yeah, the truth behind renovation is you will definitely have not enough time, you definitely will delay, and you will definitely have things that you already chose but will run, run out of yeah, stock. Out of stock. Yeah, shipment, shipment delay, the what you choose, maybe let's say the laminate colour you choose, right? They put wrongly, that kind or of thing. Spoil, broken, mm. very common. Like, you need to know that all this is part of the whole renovation process. Mm -hmm. No such thing as perfect renovation one. But right. I will say that honestly, our challenges were not much because most of them were resolved by NZ and Dylan. Yeah, actually, they <laughs> really go above and beyond. Okay, so maybe I give you guys an example. Okay, so if you in the living room, you can see that we have a full floor to ceiling mirror, okay? And with such mirror, actually quite hard to install because it's, it's one piece only. Mm. So the size is actual dimension. So when we came in one day, we realized, hey, wow, the mirror cracked. Yeah. Okay, I almost want, we wanted to text our ID about it. Then next day, right, when we came in another time, the mirror fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they came down and then just installed a new mirror for us. Yeah, so they are actually very proactive in fixing the problems. Like, mm. without you even asking them, telling them, they yeah. know one because, like, hey, crack, then they go and fix it. Another one was actually the toilet bowl and the washing machine. Okay, it's a bit complicated because, right, you need to move the washing machine in first, then you can install a toilet bowl. Yeah. But then, when Riga sent the toilet bowl, right, I think maybe got miscommunication. They go and install the toilet bowl first. They haven't, we haven't put in the washing machine yet. So, in the end, right, we need to take out the toilet bowl and then we need to put in the washing machine. But then, as they take out the toilet bowl to put the washing machine in, the toilet bowl broke. So, we didn't even know about all these, uh, I tell you guys. We didn't even know about all these. They just resolved everything for us, really. Then we know about it. I was like, what? But after everything yeah. done, then they say, oh, okay, by the way, this yeah. one broke, uh, but we changed really yeah, so yeah. much. Yeah. I honestly think that it's super, super important. Besides everything that we told you guys that it's important, forget about it. Just know that it's very important to get a very good idea. Yeah, responsible the most and responsive idea. Totally, totally. The most important in the renovation uh, is actually the IDs. Mm. Because they can either be problem solver for you, or, or they can bring you, the problem. Yeah, uh, it'll give you like, more problems. Is this a spoil? How? Like, how I know, yeah? <laughs> You're the ID, what? Right? So, if your ID brings you the problem without a solution, uh, it's a sign that it's the wrong ID. Yeah, really. that's a red flag. Yeah, so yeah. usually when we choose ID, I think it's important to look at reviews, look at IDs that your friends or people you trust use before, yes. and talk to them uh, that they are really people that have been through it, people who care about your renovation, and that yes. wants to help you get a nicer home. Because I think everyone that renovates their house, right? Mm went through the process of having an uh, idea in mind, a living space that not, they are not very happy with, and then eventually get to the part whereby they have a living space where they can call home. So I'm actually very, very glad that Dylan and Anzi helped us um, create this uh, very comfortable home. Uh. Yeah, so a big shout out to Rest and Relax, Anzi yes. and Dylan. Thank you so much for helping <laughs> us. And also thank you to all our sponsors throughout the whole renovation, right? We should, the one that we should thank the most, right, is Ryan from Oak. Yes, hey, he's like our renovation si fu, si. We yeah. step in and he's like, okay, you all know, ah, renovation si, ta, 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 ta. then we're like, wah, so complicated yeah, one. Yeah, he ah. is our reno king. Thank you so yeah, much, Ryan. So thanks, Ryan. 
And lastly, thank you all of you for watching and making this video happen. So remember to subscribe and comment below if you got any questions. Like the video too. Yes, please let us know what's your favorite part of the house, okay? Mm. See you next time. Bye bye.